Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. I know y'all better get ready for this here fried cabbage with shrimp, sausage, and bacon. Yes, Lord, I'm trying to tell you right now, this is definitely going to be an awesome and tasty recipe for you. Trust me and believe me, you're going to definitely love it. So here are the ingredients. I want you to get yourself five slices of bacon, and then I want you to go ahead and chop that up. Then we're going to go ahead and use a half a cup of yellow onions chopped. Then we're going to use three cups of cabbage. Chop it. Thin and thinly strips if you can. Then we're going to use something like 10 to 12 shrimp with the tails off and the vein. Then we're going to also use one link of the kielbasa or smoked sausage cut into about a half inch um, quarter size pieces. Then we're going to use one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of seafood seasoning, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one one fourth teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of oregano, about three cloves of minced um, garlic. You can use jar. Then we're going to also use a pinch of red pepper. This is optional if you don't like the heat. I love the heat. And then we're going to also toss in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Along with that, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and season your shrimp with the olive oil and the seafood seasoning. And I want you to put that to the side. Then I want you to go ahead and cook your bacon. Once your bacon is done, remove it from the skillet. Leave the grease in the skillet. Once you gre once that is done, I want you to go ahead and add your sausage and brown it on each side. Remove and put to the side. Now I want you to add your shrimp and cook on each side approximately about three minutes on each side until the shrimp are at a pinkish color and it makes a C shape. Now, once that's done, I want you to go ahead and remove that and put that to the side. And then I want you to add one tablespoon of butter and add the onions, the paprika, the oregano, the salt, the pepper and the crushed red peppers and cook for approximately about five to six minutes until the onions begin to soften. Add your garlic and cook until it, you get a uh, fragrance up in this here kitchen then I want you to add in at least one tablespoon of the butter and apple cider vinegar allow them to incorporate and then add in your cabbage toss it um, really good and I want you to cook it for approximately about 12 minutes until the cabbage is tender and then stir in your bacon then your shrimp and your sausage and once that's done I want you to do yourself a favor fix yourself up a bowl and you better enjoy this here and I got some good old tasting cornbread that will go along with this here particular meal if you like the recipe to the cornbread all you have to do is just say Show me the cornbread in the comment section and I'll definitely post that cornbread recipe for you. All right. Come on, somebody. Let's enjoy. 